Did you know Stanley Kubrick filmed his famous movie Eyes Wide Shut inside the Rothschild family's country estate? Theories swirled that Kubrick made his movie about the real-life ultra-elite and their secret occultic gatherings. Well, take a look at these pictures that show an actual Rothschild event from 1972. On the surface, it looks like a pretty magnificent surrealist ball, but there are clear occult references. Much like the film Eyes Wide Shut, occult imagery is hidden throughout the night, starting with the invitations, which were written backwards. Reversal or inversion of sacred objects is typical of black magic and satanic rituals. The exterior of the Chateau de Ferrier is lit up in a moving orange light, giving it the appearance of a fiery inferno. Here's some MK Ultra programming. Many guests are wearing masks with multiple faces. Victims of MK Ultra programming report systematic and ritualized pedophilia, drug and sexual abuse, and torture designed to deliberately shatter the minds of victims into multiple personalities called alters, which can be molded and manipulated at will. This hat, designed by Dali, also has hidden symbolism of androgyny by having half of Mona Lisa's face. Harnessing the male and female power is important to practitioners of the left-hand path. And although Dali traditionally paints ants and grasshoppers in his paintings to evoke death, decay, and trauma, this work of art has scarab beetles, which symbolize the Egyptian mysticism of Osiris, the Sun King. Bird cages weren't just a popular costume, but they also symbolize physical and psychological bondage. This guest's costume resembles the famous painting Son of Man by Magritte. Both the apple and the eye of Horus symbolize the forbidden knowledge of Lucifer in the Garden of Eden. The hostess, Marie Helene de Rothschild, is seen wearing a giant horned head, crying real diamond tears. Is this a representation of the sacrifice to Baphomet, who will share wealth and riches only after sacrifice? It's not exactly clear when in 1972 this party took place, but from the look of the decorations and the menu, it's definitely a fertility ritual. The dinner table serves dismembered dolls and cracked skulls a possible reference to MKUltra doll programming, and the lifelessness of their victims who literally crack after their mind control wiring goes haywire. For dessert, a human sacrifice in a bed of roses. The rose, of course, is a symbol used by many secret societies, and it represents virginity, fertility, sexuality, and immortality, as well as silence and secrecy. Here's Salvador Dali, who helmed the Surrealist movement. At first, this could seem like a surrealism party in his honor. But consider the aims of the surrealism movement itself, to resolve the contradictory condition of dreams versus reality, and allow the unconscious mind to express itself. Occult imagery is very real, and it's everywhere, in movies, television, music, and fashion. The power derived from these occult symbols and imagery is very real to the elitists that congregate in their separate reality. So shall we burn thee once again this night? And in the flames that keep thine effigy, we shall read the sign that summer sets us free. You shall burn me once again! <laughs> Summer sets us free! <laughs> And that is just the tip of the iceberg. The elites are riddled with perverse secret societies that are obsessed with harnessing the power of dark forces. For over a hundred years, Skull and Bones members have included a president, vice presidents, Supreme Court justices, congressmen and senators, captains of science and industry, the very best of America. They want the form of their better there's the public perception of the occult and then what is actually happening. It's fantasy and folklore versus the real intangible dark power that the elite are able to harness by being practitioners of the occult. And it's this very art and imagery that we see over and over again that it's just the expression of their dark souls. <laughs>